A small town in central Washington has become the epicenter of Bitcoin mining in the U.S. How did that happen? Well, it all starts with extremely cheap power. Michelle Caruso Cabrera is in Wenatchee, Washington. Wenatchee, Washington, three hours east of Seattle and surrounded by beautiful mountains. Famous for its scrumptious apples and now famous for something else. Bitcoin mining. More than a dozen cryptocurrency companies have started mining operations like this one. Mining is a process using extremely fast computer servers to solve complex mathematical equations. The reward for solving those equations? Bitcoin, a new digital currency. We have about 1,800 servers in this location, and they are doing two things. One, confirming the network. Two, racing to find the next group of Bitcoins. Malachi Salcedo has invested millions in three local mining facilities and is producing five to seven Bitcoins per day. He believes the underlying software network of Bitcoin, known as blockchain, will become the payment system of the future. What businesses is it not going to disrupt? Banking, securities transfers, interbank settlements, credit card services, PayPal. But to run a mining operation like this one requires a lot of electricity. Malachi Salcedo needs seven and a half megawatts of power. That's enough to power 11,000 homes. And that's why he's in Wenatchee, Washington, home to the Columbia River and a series of dams that provide extremely cheap hydroelectric power. Here, electricity costs between two and three cents per kilowatt hour. The average in the United States is more than six cents, and in some states, more than 10 cents. Steve Wright runs the Chelan County Public Utility. He says there are currently 12 large Bitcoin miners in the area, but with the recent dramatic rise in the price of Bitcoin, many more want to come. Just in the last month, we've had about another 75 come through the door. So we've gone from just a few people out there uh, who have been knocking on our door to all of a sudden people who are banging on the door pretty loudly. But the infrastructure required to service miners is expensive. Just to lay a mile of cable for distribution can cost millions of dollars. He doesn't want to put the local taxpayer at risk. And what we don't want is people who come here uh, to make a quick buck off of our low-cost electricity and then leave town and leave us holding the bag and leave the people of this community holding the bag. So With all the infrastructure you built for them? That's right. So they've started demanding cash up front for any major infrastructure costs for miners. Even though the power is perhaps the cheapest in the entire country, it's still Malachi Salcedo's biggest cost. We currently spend over $100,000 a month just on electrical costs. It's a lot of money, but he's convinced it will pay off because he believes in Bitcoin. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Michelle Caruso Cabrera, Wenatchee, Washington.